Say it again. We can't let Putin win. It's in our overwhelming national interest and the international interest of all our friends. Any disruption <clears throat> in our ability to supply Ukraine clearly strengthens Putin's position. President Biden just speaking about the funding battle going on in Congress right now involving Ukraine's war with Russia. Senators right now in a stalemate over sending billions more in aid to Ukraine. And yesterday's shouting match behind closed doors signals that neither side is willing to budge right now. Madeline Rivera has more. A meeting over Ukraine funding devolved into a shouting match in the Senate Tuesday. So here's what happened. Started off pretty bad, got better. Majority Leader Chuck Schumer accused Republicans of hijacking the closed briefing on Ukraine to push their border policies. Some senators even left the meeting in protest. You know, they get stuck. They got stuck. They, were, they, they didn't like it. And even one of them started, was disrespectful and started screaming at the gen, one of the generals and challenging him to why he didn't go to the border. GOP lawmakers are adamant there will be no more additional support for Ukraine without immigration reform. We agree Ukraine needs the money. And unless they're willing to shut down the 10,000 a day being released into the country, they're not going to get a deal done. The White House says the stakes couldn't be higher, with funding for Ukraine set to run out by the end of the year. And the impasse in Congress does not bode well for the president's push to send $61 billion of aid. A cynic would believe that Republicans have made this immigration demand because they want the Ukraine funding to go down. With talks on the brink of collapse, Ukraine's defense minister is sounding the alarm. It's for the American national interest to fight with authoritarian regimes, not to give them uh, any sign of weakness. Some Democrats say a failed procedural vote on the president's multi-billion dollar request sends a bad signal. Other lawmakers say it may lead to a reset in talks. In Washington, Mather Rivera, Fox 32 Chicago.